ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹರಿಹರ್ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎನ್ ಇ ಟಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಲೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಲೆರಿಂಜಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಸಿನೋಮಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಕಾಮನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಎನ್ಕೌಂಟರ್ಸ್ ವೋಕಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸರೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ವೋಕಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ hoarseness of voice a person who is speaking will find that his voice is becoming tired when they start speaking or the voice quality changes when they are speaking as a result of which the hoarseness which is evidently seen when somebody is hearing what they are speaking sometimes because of the progressive nature of the disease the person impacted may not notice the change in voice because they used to having a slightly altered voice over time so they may be unconscious about it so a person listening to their voice will certainly know the difference so the change in voice is the first thing as the tumor grows it can cause an embarrassment of the vocal cords uh, vocal space now this is the space available within the, the larynx for your breathing and when the vocal cords come together you have a voice being produced now if this area starts slowly getting progressively reduced the amount of space available for breathing gets compromised as a result of which they will have respiratory embarrassment it is essential to note that here the person may again be used to having a sedentary life and not even notice that they are having a respiratory embarrassment if they were to exert themselves walk or excessively strain themselves physically then they realize that they are not able to breathe that's a very important thing and if they are not able to breathe how are they going to manage so it's necessary in these cases to be treated urgently sometimes as an emergency right so these are two things within the larynx either they have fullness of throat voice change or respiratory embarrassment they rarely can present with blood when they cough in the phlegm this is something that can also be there when there's an excoriation of the tumor causing the bleeding right so cough can be extremely powerful pressures up to 60 miles per hour when a forcible cough happens can have an abrading effect on the tumor causing a bleed so it's necessary to take that into consideration as well very rarely they will also complain of pain in the early stages but in the later stages they can complain of pain in the throat and pain on swallowing sometimes difficulty in swallowing when the tumor is extending beyond the confines of the larynx now beyond the confines of the larynx the rest of the throat the pharynx can also be affected as a result of which they can have pain on swallowing and difficulty in swallowing so these are all the features of a laryngeal cancer